made the matrix and then I blew it up because that's what we do as humans. Why would I do this? Well, I needed to get another video out and I love the original trilogy, so why not? You're probably like, that's cool, but what's in it for me? And I'll, I'll be like, well, well, watch and see what I did and, and stuff. The power plant is huge. So I started off in Blender, which some of you may know of. It's an awesome open source 3D content creation software that can allow you to create worlds. I sometimes do that, but I mostly don't. So I, I mostly create this kind of crap, but not this time. I started off with a migraine in YouTube and quickly found all the reference I could ever want, then passed out and woke up again. I'd show you the reference, but it's like not my content. And while lots of other channels do that and they don't care, I live in LA and I know some entertainment lawyers and they said, dude, don't. I said, okay. So look up Matrix and you'll find everything I found and probably a whole lot more. I started modeling a pod. I usually start off with blocking things in, but it was late. I hadn't done any personal work in forever and I, I didn't really care. This thing is a simple sphere that I elongated and shaped. Really simple stuff if you'd use the software for some time. If not, there are like 500 new Blender videos uploaded every day that can help and lots of expert modelers out there. You can start with a donut tutorial. Everyone else started there. You, you can too, it's, it's fine. T tell, tell Guru I said hi. He doesn't know me, but it's funny anyway. Now, I had the main pod and I needed to build the frame, so I duplicated it and deleted some faces. Then I'd added a solidify modifier to make it thick, because all pod frames are thick. Yeah. Then I needed a base for it, so a cylinder seemed to work well. Again, I just used edit mode to move points around, extrude, move more points, and shape, shape, shape. Next I needed the fluidy, tanky things that I saw in the film. I made those out of a sphere and cylinders too. What craziness. Then I mirrored them, and it started to look like something I'd rather not talk about on a family-friendly video, but clearly it looks like we're making a penal colony, and that's pretty much what we are. Next, I made some tubes and gave them some ridges, because, uh, ah, no, I'll stop. I decided to lay some wires over the top like I do in this video linked here. It works well for stuff like this. Next, I gave it some shaders to see what it could look like, and it looked okay. Now. I just needed a lot of these things, or, or the matrix won't work. So onto Geometry Node, the new Blender buzzword and awesome new feature set. I'd set up a really simple scatter system on a cylinder, then deleted the faces on the top and the bottom to make a tower, and scattered some of the points on the faces. This is simple stuff you can find on YouTube, but Arendelle and BBN19 are especially awesome for this stuff. After hooking in the pod object, here called Vent because I was lazy, into an instance node, Blender froze. That wasn't a good sign. At this scale, I'd need way more of these in the final scene, and this just was, well, you can see. Now, I know you've all grown up watching Ian. He's brilliant and very efficient. This is the opposite of Ian. This is Kevin. Kevin added a lot of data because Kevin didn't care. Kevin just really wanted to push his system to the brink and see what it could do. Ergo, this is where I had to make a choice. Push through in Blender and spend an inordinate amount of time making level of detail objects and hoping they hold up in the distance without flicker, even with a nice scattering that only shows up in the camera range, or whatever, or using another piece of software that I know is built from the ground up for this stuff. I chose the latter. I jumped into Houdini. I decided to build a simple long cube and try with that. My first attempt sucked, but once I'd figured out the normal direction it worked like a charm. I have this Houdini file up on Patreon if anybody wants it, along with a growing list of Houdini videos. I kid about efficiency, but I knew I wanted complexity, and this was the direction I'd chosen, so I kept going. So inside Houdini, I'd set up a simple scatter system and was able to scatter like at least a thousand of these things over a cylinder. It was looking cool, but kind of boring. I needed it to be more random, but for that I'd wanted to see what it would look like on a tower, so I made a crude one with a crappy top and somewhat cool base. Once I'd had what I wanted with the scattering, I replaced the boxes with the pods and was pretty happy. Nice and randomized. Now, onto the towers. I went back into Blender and I made the top of the power towers. I love Blender because while it's more destructive unless you use geometry nodes, it's really easy and fun to just build things with it. I'd gotten some reference from the film and made something similar by starting with a cylinder, then cutting parts out and adding in other geometry. Greebles are fun, but I didn't want to go overboard. I could always do that in Houdini later and not choke my system. I just wanted to have fun at this point. Once I'd had something I liked, I knew I could do the rest of the Greeble effect with textures, so I went on Pixabay and found an image that would work. Then brought it into Affinity Photo, bumped it up to 16 or 32 bits, and then equalized the lighting a bit. I didn't need to go overboard here as I knew the camera would be flying through and there would be lots of other crap happening in the shot, so this worked. Now back in Houdini, I'd started assembling one tower. At this point, 
I decided that neither Blender nor Houdini would handle this insanely data heavy and unoptimized workflow, but more on that later. I built a nice little procedural system that would allow me to interactively change the height of the whole tower system. I didn't know if I'd need that or not, but it was fun to do it, so I did it. It's, it's pretty simple but effective. Now, back to the efficiency thing. I could scatter these and use them, but I decided that it would be more manageable to scatter some randomly around a ring and export them all into another package that I've now fallen in love with. Clarice. She's gorgeous. I was able to load in the tower and all the scattered pods and put them together then add in a whole city of them. It's like, it's like 400 billion polygons. I can fly the camera through this whole city, and while I don't have the time to render it all, and I really do like the environment more than superfluous rendering, I, I didn't care, this is amazing. After taking in the explosions and lighting that I'd made in Houdini and placing them around the scene, I made a simple camera fly through. After checking the play blast, I left out the debris in the final because the huge stupid explosion covered it up. I have no idea if this would really happen, as I'd need to study lots more demolition reference, but... Yep, not bad. I was able to render out passes pretty easily. To those of you who are concerned, I actually evacuated all the people first, so we're just, we're just taking down machines right now, okay? I knew the whole thing would end up in Resolve, so I'd worked to that. Here in Resolve, I put the whole thing together. Using both Fusion and the Resolve color panels, I was able to get a look I was kind of happy with. The truth is, I'm, I'm never really happy with my work, but perfect is the enemy of good, or, or suck, or something. Truth be told, I'm pretty new to Clarice, and the stuff I did in Houdini is not typical of my day job in engineering visualization. So I still have quite a bit to learn, as the program is infinite. But, you know, isn't that where, where all the fun is? I now set up a system where I can create anything I want and see it run, at any level of complexity. It's pretty awesome, but man, I, I still don't have the time. If you liked this, and you want more in-depth knowledge, come check out my Patreon. I have quite a few videos in there on Blender, Resolve, Houdini, including lots of assets from videos I've done over the last two years, in addition to mini courses and stuff that I never put on YouTube. I hope you had fun in the last few minutes. Thanks, see you around.